Conway whips that away for six. Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 18 of our road to cricket glory guys with New Zealand on Cricket Captain 2020 where today we're going to get straight into it guys. We're actually taking on Bangladesh. Yeah, it is three match T20 international series guys. We're playing this one at night in Wellington, probably at the old Sky Stadium. And uh, we'll just have a look at the squad before we get into things. There's three matches going to take place. The squad is an interesting one because we've gone with Conway again. We want to see if Conway can get some form before the T20 World Cup begins. We do need a backup keeper in the squad for the T20 World Cup right around the corner now, guys. Two series away. Six games to go before we arrive in Australia for that tournament. So I think it's going to be Seifert who will sit on the sidelines behind Glenn Phillips at this stage. But again, we will just see how things pan out. Because Glenn Phillips is currently running on some pretty decent form, especially on that turn of three. Although he struggled a bit in the last series. So we shall see. We also want Ajaz Patel to come good because that gives us a second spinner. Uh, or if he doesn't, we have to have Ish Sodi come in in the next series and hopefully come good as well. It's going to be tight, guys, uh, that's for sure. We don't have some players in form going into the tournament, so it's going to be kind of tough. But we do have some players if, who, if they can keep their form, can give us a good shot at this World Cup, guys, starting in October 2020. The T20 World Cup in Australia, where we have our first match, will be West Indies. So it's going to be an extremely difficult tournament. Of course, with the Super 12, meaning two people join each group. Uh, we actually have a series on this, guys. We're trying to win with the Netherlands in this tournament on Cricket Captain 2020, if you want to check out our channel for that as well, guys. Uh, which is okay. Maybe, maybe Jameson would be better, though. Maybe. Yeah, sure. Oh, man. Seeing, seeing Rutherford on the bench is uh, very... It, it's hard to see, but... Look, Conway, we've got to make sure he gets in some form here, because he is quality, and having him on the bench... For the World Cup would be crucial for us. Anyways, New Zealand will call heads here. And we have won the toss. And we are going to bat first. There is Hassan is on debut. I did forget to mention that, guys. And Conway is going to be opening up with Guthul here. Saifuddin with the first over of the match to Guthul. Oh, my. Well, that's one way to begin it. What a shot inside out. And he cuts it for six. Wowie. And he's clean. And he's cleaned up after all of that. What a rollicking start it's been. 4-6 out. Uh, so Williamson comes to the crease nice and early. Mr. Fiza to Williamson. Gets a slow one and absolutely pulls it away for 6. Nearly gets caught behind. On my 1 of 4. He gets a single up. Williamson swinging and missing. Punches off the back foot. 4. Mid off doesn't even bother to move. He nearly runs Conway out. But he'll get home. Conway goes straight for six. What a shot that is. Ten and over. Flying away here. And Conway cuts this for six more. Edged in the gap. No run. It's already on 17. Every run Conway gets is a big win for New Zealand here. That's a good shot from Williamson. Beats point for four. Going at 9.2 still. Conway whips that away for six. Down the ground now, beats mid on for four more, and Conway, 27 off 19, has got a good start here today. And in fact, guys, in this career, that is his top T20 international score. Obviously, in real life, he's absolutely killing it. And on debut comes Naeem Hassan, who actually bowled to us in the test matches, I believe. Although, it looks like he's got six for 74. I'm not sure if that was against us or not. I don't think so. No, no, he struggled. He got three for 200 against us. He really struggled against us. So uh, it was a, a good change to see him struggle against us because he was doing quite well before that. But anyway, Conway is going to move up a little bit. 9.3 though, I feel like we've, we've, we're doing fine. The pace is okay. Williamson cuts. Fine for four. 60 for one. This is a good combo for New Zealand too here, obviously. Conway and Williamson. That's a great shot down the ground for four. And the funny thing is, it's still got Taylor in the bank. Williamson cuts it for six. Wow, we Hassan getting coached. 
in the middle because Williamson is absolutely flying. 10.7 and over. That is one run off it though. So we are going to go for it. Hassan to Conway. He goes leg side. That's a huge six. And gets a single after it. Great batsmanship that as Williamson drives down the ground and gets four. Jeepers. New Zealand are absolutely tearing here. Gets that full toss and Williamson just puts it away for four more. 90 for one. What is going on? Bangladesh. Oh, dear me. That is out of the ground, I think, from Williamson. New all-time record partnership at Sky Stadium. Let's just look at this again, guys. I think Williamson's cut this out the park. Yeah. <laughs> and that's 50 for Kane Williamson. His 15th in T20 internationals. He is now averaging 35.5, guys. That's a, that's a really, really healthy average in this format. That's four more to Williamson. Oh, he edges it past the keeper. New all-time record partnership for New Zealand. This is Bangladesh for the second wicket. 96 runs. Kane Williamson is fully confident as well. This looks to be an absolute belter of a pitch, guys. And Conway swings and misses it. He now edges it, and you'll get a single. Moves to 39. We just want Conway to keep going here. 111 for one. That is four. Nearly a six. Goes leg side for four. Four, four. Thought it was six for a second. Thought it was six, but it's four. He's edged and gone, though. He's gone for 69 off 37. Kane Williamson. And the top score is 95. I didn't actually realize that. There you go. Uh, but he's gone for 69 of 37. A great knock. 10 fours, 3 sixes, And a strike rate of 186. Allowing Glenn Phillips to actually just get a bit of a, a work on here. He can only go... He can not only go at 6 and over. But he can take his time. And straight away, back for punches. Four runs. He can take his time. We're going at 10 and over. As I say, take his time. I say, get a move on. Conway's playing a nice anchor role right now. As Phillips drives down the ground for four. Six off this over. Hussain to Conway, but he cuts it away for four. Moves to 45. Phillips on strike. Hassan. Oh, gee, that was... I mean, he's bowled on the, full on the stumps, and he's just backed away and hit him away. Now he's gone the other way for four more. 141 for two. That will be four more. Gee, Glenn Phillips absolutely flying. 23 off 12. Conway 45 off 32. I reckon Conway can have a crack here because he is absolutely uh, in good neck. He just gets a single again, which is absolutely fine with me. Because, well, there you go. That's why. Don't even need to say it, but Glenn Phillips just heads it smashed. Straight for six. What a shot. Hassan to Phillips. In mid wicket. Four more. The Bangladeshis. What are they? What's going on? I don't know if they're bowling bad or if, or if we're just hitting good. But it's all going wrong for them. 163 for two. Ooh, through the legs. Through the legs there. Again, what bold. Hassan. Good comebacks there. Phillips looking scratchy and he's finally gone. There you go. Two players and misses, and he can't take it anymore. He goes for 37 off 22. A very, very good knock, though. What's his average looking like nowadays? 19. Not too bad. He's actually getting it up slowly, that's for sure. Conway on 47. He swings and misses. Punches for four and brings it up. He brings up a maiden T20 International 50, does Devin Conway. And it's... Fair to say that he's finally come good. At least a little bit. Can he kick on, though? He's got three others. Can he really, really make it count? That's six. And gets a single. 181. Taylor cuts this for six over cover. What a shot that is. 59 or 40 for Conway. Edges. And good fielding. Conway. That's a big heave hope. Just play a shot. And he's <laughs> tried to play the shot, but he's missed it. He's gone for 59. Off 42 balls, guys. Not the best. I mean, I would love to have seen him finish it at the death yet. 
But you know what? A good result. A really good result. And that's six to Tom Bruce. And he's gone next ball. Six off two. Hey, he gets his strike rate right up. And the last over, 195 for five here in New Zealand. Hussain to bowl it. Taylor drives that one away for four. 199 is the score now. And no, we can't get 200 just yet because Taylor is gone, LBW. We are absolutely swinging out the gates here, guys. I mean, use all the resources is what they say. And we're doing just that at the moment. 200 up, though, for New Zealand. And that's a single. And Satna whips that away through mid-wicket for four. New all-time record total for New Zealand versus Bangladesh at Sky Stadium. 205 for six, guys. What a performance it was by New Zealand. And, uh, well, let's just say... Gee, Hassan. 50 runs conceded on Dabu. And four, two for 45. Not the best there. All right, guys. What a first innings that was. For New Zealand, guys, 205 on the board against Bangladesh. Can we defend it? We should be able to defend it with our bowling attack. But, of course, things can happen in cricket. We've got two slips to begin with. That's a swing and a miss from Iqbal. And he pulls that away. It's a no ball. And it's four. Not a great start from Tim Saudi there. Okay, Jameson to open. And Iqbal goes league side for four. Dusk gets dropped at short leg. I mean, why do we even have a short leg in place? Don't know, but nonetheless, dropped at short leg. They need 11 and over. Kyle Jameson to Iqbal. Oh, that is a shot and a half. Iqbal. Again, over mid-off for six more. Full toss for four. He's on fire. And that's cut away for four more. He's 34 off 16. Absolutely crushing it, guys. Lockie Ferguson in the power plate to Litton Das. He's pulled that straight, and he's got it away for four. What a shot that is. And that is an edge for four. No one down there. Has he edged that one? I don't think so. And that is hit the pad, not out. Jameson got smashed in his last over. And Nisham to bowl now to Iqbal and gets Iqbal off a no ball. Wowie. And that is a good shot for four from Das. Edges does Iqbal. He shouldn't even be there, but Nisham bowled a no ball. Can we just look at this swing and a miss as well, guys? How did that not bowl him? How did that one not bowl him? Anyway, he survives. And Bangladesh, 59 without loss after the power plate. 48's the par. And saying that Iqbal should have been gone already, but he was gone off a no ball. And it's down the ground, and that will be four runs, and it will be to Iqbal, who is on fire tonight. Straight past Satna for four more. Bangladesh, 69 without loss. Can they get this done? Satna to Iqbal. Tosses it up and he swept that away for four as well. New Zealand are all over the shop here, guys. And it's not looking good. Nisham's got to do something. He did have Iqbal before, but it was a no ball. Can he have him again is the real question. As Nisham bowls to Das. Edged away for a single. Iqbal on 49, and he edges away. We'll get his 50. Gee, that's nearly bowled him. I bowled to Nisham there. Iqbal, he's on fire. Can Satna pick him up? No. Satna to dust this time. Looks to go straight and gets it for four. 10.9 per over still needed here. Nisham, the best of the bowlers so far, but he's been carded for four. Dust, he goes leg side, beats mid wicket for four more. That's a six over mid off. That's a hundred up for Bangladesh after the halfway mark. They are on target for this chase, guys. And uh, this is where we should probably start to panic because things are not going the way that they should be in this game right now. Okay, Lockie Ferguson on a free hit. Gets, <laughs> gets Iqbal on a free hit. That's a six. What is New Zealand up to right now, guys? 116 without loss and Iqbal. It watches Dust go. I don't know why I said Iqbal, but Dust goes for 56 off 37. He gets a 50 himself. Mominal hark to the crease now. Oh, that's well bowled from Nisham. It's an edge too. That's well bowled from Nisham. Bowling quite well to Hark. Can he get him? Yes, he can. Ferguson locks over. 
locks over. Yep, that's the new word. He locks over. Momino Hark for not many. Iqbal. He times it. And we'll get four. He's the key man. Musfika Rahim. Down the ground. Should stop that one. And that is out. Ferguson gets Rahim gone. LBW. And uh, New Zealand are fighting back big time in this game, guys. Iqbal is still there, though. Marmadula to the crease. And that's a good over from Satna. Now I need 11.8 uh, do the Bangladeshis. And gone. Iqbal is finally gone. Ferguson celebrates. Finally. Iqbal, his good innings comes to an end. And uh, Lockie Ferguson, 3 for 35. Can he pick up a 4? Straight, no, it's going to be four. Ends his spell. I'd say it's a good one. He was definitely uh, took a bit of tap, but uh, what a good spell it was. Getting three crucial wickets in the middle to help New Zealand at least stall the momentum here at the back end. That is an edge for a single. Satna to Mamadula. Gets him. Thank you very much. Wild ball to Mitchell Satna. And our bowlers, uh, death bowlers now, Tim Sally. Tim Sally. It's a shot off the back foot. Beats point for four. Gets him, though. He gets Nasser Hussain. He gets Nasser Hussain. I think that's how you say that. Mohammed Saifuddin. Gets cleaned up for a first baller. Thank you very much. Saifuddin has to walk for a golden duck. Sally's got two and two. Hassan hits that over. Fine league for six from Jameson. And he's gone. Hassan is gone for seven. Oh, sorry, nine. Off seven. And Sally on a hat trick. Cannot get it. That is close, but probably outside the line. Edged and... Oh, good stop. Sally. Oh, how is that not out? Down leg? Yeah, okay. Fair. In Sally's brilliant spell. 2 for 24. 36 needed per off this over. A.K.A. a 6 every delivery. That's a dot. It won't happen. Jameson. My bold. Oh my goodness. Bowling gems here. Edged away for one. Two runs. Final ball. And they're going to pinch a single. And it's going to be not out. New Zealand. In the end, comfortably win by 31. But geez, guys. We know that. Dust and Iqbal pushed us to our limits, that's for sure. 116 for the opening pair. And yet every other partnership could not exceed even over 10. Kane Williamson, the player of the match in this game, for getting 69 off 37 while well played. Kane was brilliant tonight. 10 fours, 3 sixes. And uh, the bowlers, they all took a bit of tap tonight. That's for sure, especially Jameson and Ferguson, but they took wickets at crucial times. Satin actually bowled pretty well in the end again, despite getting smashed around in his first couple. And in the end, New Zealand went by 31 to claim a 1-0 lead in the series. Going into the second game, we might just check the world rankings to, to cap the episode off. And we can see that Kane Williamson is the best T20 international batter in the world, guys, at the moment. Uh, Ross Taylor is our second best, so that is really good signs to see. And Mitchell Satin is the best T20 spinner and bowler in the world right now. So really, really good signs going into the World Cup, guys. Coming very soon. But that is indeed going to be it for today's episode, guys. So if you did enjoy them, please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below in the description. Especially on Twitter, guys. I tweet out quite a lot, guys. And... Don't forget to join my Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when all of our amazing videos go live, guys. And let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this series, guys. Who do you think I should bring in? Who do you think will win the T20 World Cup coming up? And so forth. All in the comments down below, guys. Anything at all. All your thoughts greatly appreciated. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode, guys. Good bye for now.